All right, guys, it's Tiny Penny here. I just wanted to show one of these wizard builds that I have been using most recently in BGs. Um, it revolves around the four piece grace, which every time you damage an individual enemy five times, you'll do additional damage plus persistent ground damage from the two piece. And then we are using two piece feasting baron increase the duration of abilities that cause loss of control by 30 percent with that i have a few of the cursed items but right now i'm only rocking a two piece of the atroved when you deal continuous damage to an enemy a dark field will appear under them dealing 24 percent of your damage every second for six seconds to the enemy remaining in that area effect cannot occur more often 90 seconds fatigue primary attack damage reduced by three percent for me for this build it's perfectly fine that i'm losing my attack damage because all i'm doing is aoe effects and beaming so i'm just using skills so on that note right now still building a charm but it works out great because Ray of Frost, I have 6%. That's your primary attack that you're going to be using for this. You do have Electrocute on, but this is what you're mainly going to be doing to back up all your AoE effects. So what we have is we have the Shiver It Snare, which Ray of Frost now frees enemies for 2.8 seconds after taking damage from the Ray six times with a chess piece that is ice crystal now summons freezing crystal that inflicts greater damage over time and stacking chill ice crystal increased damage 12 percent cooldown decreased by 10. then we have shoulders ray of frost now creates an ice shield every time it damages an enemy absorbing 6.888 damage and stacking up to 10 times shield effect increased by 36 percent Ray of Frost energy consumed 10% slower. You see where this is going? All right, onto the pants. Arcane wind damage increased by 16%. Arcane wind cooldown decreased by 10%. Then onto your bread and butter. Arcane wind now conjures storm that grows over time, pulling people in. And we have increased damage. This is all from your mastery, and this is from our awakening. So increased damage, cooldown duration, and then we're taking the second charge. So arcane wind charges increased by one. We reduce the cooldown, and then arcane wind damage increased by 10%. So if we look at our skills, we have our Ray of Frost doing, giving us a shield. Then we are throwing damage upon damage, chilling and freezing, throwing a storm, pulling people in, damaging them for 12% with massive 20% cooldown with more increased damage. Then we have our ice crystal that conjure a giant ice crystal damaging nearby enemies, afflicting chill. When it expires, it'll shatter dealing 20K, 80% chill afflicted, beam striking it. But we look at freeze crystal. Your ice crystal now is a freezing crystal dealing 61 thousand damage over 12 seconds inflicting chill up to eight times crystal can no longer be shattered early decreased cooldown so it's really nice that the awakening skill here we have our decreased cooldown because i haven't found that legendary yet but that is uh works out really nice in my favor and then we're just rocking standard teleport right Three charges of teleport so we'll typically just run in teleport in we'll drop a crystal drop a couple of traps and start beaming that's all it is and 
for the purpose of this video. I hope you like this montage I put together. Let me know what you think of this build. I'm still working towards trying to make a full-on beam wizard, a battle mage, all of that. I do have mastery level three. Um, so I am, thanks to the towers and the new vault loot system, leveling up this pretty quickly. I should be able to get mastery level four by the weekend. So that'll be fun. Um, so on that note, I hope you enjoy this video. Get wrecked, bitch.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little montage that I put together um, to showcase this freeze wizard build. And I hope you look forward to seeing uh, some more of my videos coming up here shortly. Catch me live on Twitch when I stream and I'll catch you in the next one. Much love. Bye, guys.